Hey guys, I'm back with another GoPro tips and tricks video. I know the Hero 3 is coming out and I know the last generation is the Hero 2 and we're now almost three generations old for the Hero 1, but I have access to one and there's no videos on my channel talking about how to change the settings on it and I have got a couple people asking about it, so I decided to do a quick overview of the menu system of the Hero 1. I'm not going to go into nearly as much detail as I did with the Hero 2s. I'm not going to talk about individual videos for each setting, but just as a quick overview, the settings are the same, or the, the buttons to change things are the same as on the Hero 2. So we have a shutter button, which is basically like the select button, and we have the mode button, or the front button, which scrolls through menus. So it goes to the top, and then it works its way through. That's on the Hero 2. On this one, it simply scrolls through. Okay, so we start out in film mode. Now we can use the mode button to change modes. So up in the top we have the mode we're in, which is the video camera. And then in the bottom left here we have the video resolution. So right now we're at level four and we have the battery life. We are now in the photo self timer mode. So this is, I think it's 10, 15 seconds for this one. Uh, it's a 10 second timer. So this is the 10 second this is a 10 second self portrait timer. The next one is time lapse mode, so it shoots, a, it shoots a photo every X number of seconds. So we can set this up once we get into the settings menu. Next, we actually have the settings menu. I'm not gonna go into that right now, I wanna go through the rest of the shooting modes. The next one, and it's back to the camera icon again, a little bit um, tricky here. This one is just one photo every time you push the shutter button. So we hit the shutter button, it takes one photo. No, no self port or no um, time lapse mode here. Just one, one photo every time you push the button. The next one is the burst mode. So this was um, the triple shot. It didn't work on a hero one. So this was triple. This was took, took three shoots. So if we push the button, it'll take three pictures and then stop. Bit of bit long delay before it starts. Um, the next, I'm just we go back to film. Time, self, -port self portrait, time lapse. And then we go into settings. To enter the settings menu, you use the shutter button to select it. And the first option we're given is O, it goes little O, little N, and then a big F. This is one button mode. So if it's on, right now it's off, one button mode is off. If it's on, the camera boots up into your default recording mode, starts recording, and won't stop until you power down the camera. The next mode is the default filming mode. So the default is film. The default by the camera is F for filming. Most people want to leave in this. You can change it by selecting the shutter button to scroll through the options. So film, photo, triple shoot is the three, and then press is a photo every set. This is time lapse mode, so PR. Yeah, press P E S is the um, time lapse mode. But I'm going to leave it as film. The resolution modes are next. <coughs> they are um, R1, VGA, R2, 720p at 30 frames per second, R3, 720p at 60 frames per second, R4, 9, 960 at 30 frames per second. That's the tall square shot and then resolution 5, 1080p at 30 frames per second. Nothing very different there compared to a Hero 2, just a little bit harder to understand. But remember, on a Hero 1, the resolutions are always written on the back. Next up, we have center weighted um, metering. So this is, uh, what does this do? This is like, this is on a Hero 2 2 as well. This means that it weights the whole image and the brightness <coughs> metering over the whole image, whereas the other mode, Spot, using the shutter button to scroll between, simply uses the, it takes, it makes sure that the image in the very center of, or the, the object in the center of the shot is properly exposed and the rest of it is not. Normally I just leave it on the um, center weighted average metering. This is like their matrix metering or whatever on a normal camera. Spot metering is simply one point in the camera. The next mode is up and if you push it, the shutter button, you'll see upside down. 
So up D is upside down, which it'll flip the shot over in the camera. It's quite easy to do this in editing software afterwards, but if you do plan to mount the camera upside down, good idea to change it, it makes it easier for playback. The next mode is live feed. This means that it'll actually play live video feed out of the TV, HDTV, composite TV jacks while it is recording. This is off, and if you hit the shutter button, it'll turn it on. This is on-screen display. This is while you change whether or not you get information on the top and bottom of the TV during playback. It's off, it, or it's on, and it can be off. That's on. The next one is picture resol uh, picture gap between photos. So this is P1, so it's one second. You have the option of one, two, three, five, ten, or 30 or 60 seconds between photos. So this is controlling for the time lapse mode. The next setting is the blinking LED. It can be on or off, whether if you want to be in disguise, you can turn the LED off, or if you're shooting at something reflective, like through a window, it's a good idea to turn it off because then it won't um, reflect in your video shot. The next mode is beep on or off, so if you want it to make noise, you can turn it on, leave it on, or if you want to not hear any noise, you can turn it off. Next, we have NC, NTSC or PAL. This is if you're in North America or Europe, you can change the video recording setting. This will also change your frames per second. This is LS and a little funny symbol somewhat like a T, but yeah. So this will delete the last file saved. If you push the shutter button, it will delete the last file saved. Um, I'm not gonna do that, I don't wanna do that. The next one is all. This deletes everything and formats the SD card. I am also not going to do that. Be careful because the next one, uh, you're getting close to the end of the menu here. You really don't want to delete everything off your card, so just always be careful around these ones. The next one is off, and this is the auto power setting, auto power off setting. So this means it can be off 60, 120, or 300, and that is the number of seconds before the camera automatically powers off, powers off if it's not recording. All right, the next one is L, LCO. Oh, LCD on or off. So if you have LCD backpack, I believe this is how you turn it on or off. And then lastly, we have the date. All right, so to set the date, you're gonna push the setting, the shutter button to enter it. And then you're gonna push the shutter button to change the year, 2012. Push the shutter button again to change the month. It is currently the 10th month. Oops. And again, set the day. It's the 27th day. Very slow, painful process, this. 27th day. And then next is the hour. It is. Now this is a 24 hour clock, so you do have to convert it into 24 hours. It's five o'clock here, so it's 1700. And that's minutes, so that's actually very close to what it is. So I'm gonna leave the minute set as that. And then just push the power, the mode button to save. Then you're given escape. Push the shutter button to exit the menu system. So guys, that was a overview of the GoPro Hero 1 menu system. Uh, I'm sure many of you out there still have them. They're great little cameras. They do shoot awesome video. And right now, with the Hero 3 coming out, I'm sure they can be picked up, used for stunningly good prices. Um, 
Really, the Hero 1 and the new GoPro White Edition are identical. The only difference is that the new one has Wi-Fi and is a little bit smaller, but it's also, I believe it's $199. If you can get one of these Hero 1s for like 100 bucks or so, I think you're doing really well. Good little deal. You're, like I said, the video quality of the new GoPro White Edition is the same as the Hero 1. So keep that in mind. It's uh, There are awesome little cameras. I've had one for a long time. And uh, yeah, so guys, thanks for watching. This was another GoPro tips and tricks video talking about how uh, overview of the GoPro Hero 1 menu system. If you've enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe and check out my channel for lots more videos. And until next time, thanks for watching.